Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been creating a sort of series of scroll effects and hover effects. We've got going on here. If we roll down the page a bit, this image that's popping up there of the river. Keep your eye on that. And we've got some modules that are just going to scroll in and appear when we get to the top of the page. Scroll back down, they're going to disappear out again. And we're not using any CSS code for this today, we're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is enable my Visual Builder so we can work on the front end. Once enabled, let's scroll on down to where we want to work. And I'll get rid of the row that I've got in there at the moment. There it is right there. So let's just add a new row here. Little green button to add a row. I guess I'll use the same again, thirds. Inside, I'm gonna put a call to action. This will work with any module. I'm just gonna save that. There's our first one right there. Let's just duplicate it a couple of times. Little square boxes, left click to duplicate. Drag the new one over and we'll duplicate it again. There we go. And if we roll those up and down, they're just there like normal modules. Let's get rid of these ones on the top here. Save confusion. Let's get rid of that row. Okay, let's give it a bit of padding top and bottom. So I'm going to go into the row itself, design, spacing. Just going to give it 50 pixels top, hit the chain, and it'll do the bottom as well. In fact, let's up that. Let's make that 100. There we go. Okay, and at the moment, when we scroll up and down, it's just static modules right there. So let's go ahead and make it fade in. So let's go back into one of our modules here. We'll go over to advanced and all the way down the bottom you're going to find scroll effects. Now you can use vertical motion, move them up and down, side to side, fade in and out, which is what we're going to use today. Make them bigger or smaller or rotate them or blur them out. I'm going to use the fade hit the little switch that says enable fading in and out. Okay, well that's given us a little scale down the bottom here. So viewport bottom, which is bottom of whatever screen you're watching on, and viewport top, at the top here obviously. And we've got it starting off as invisible, so if I roll that down, let's see it start to fade out. We're just working on that one on the left right now. Okay, I want it totally invisible when it's there, so what I'm gonna do is, is Take the viewport bottom up a little bit until it's totally invisible. Take mine up to about 35%. Then it's going to start fading in there. And I want it fully visible from about there upwards. So I'm going to bring my top viewport down a little bit. And you can adjust these how you want. Now halfway at 50%. When we rolled up 50%, I only want it to be about 50% invisible, or 50% visible, I should say. So there we go. We've got invisible, 50%, fully visible when it gets up to the top of our viewport there. Perfect. That's just exactly what I want. So I'm going to save that, and rather go rather than go through the individual things on this, all I'm going to do is right-click on the module itself. I'm going to say extend call to action styles because it's a call to action module. I want it to extend to all of them in this row here. I'm going to hit the extend button. There we go. Now all of them should fade out. There we go. Very simple effect. We've got nothing there. Halfway up the page, they're going to start to fade in. By the time they get to the top of the viewport, they're fully visible there. Really easy to do. Let's make sure this is going to work on the front end. 
little purple button. Save our page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And we'll go on down. There's our little image popping up there. As we scroll down, those modules are going to fade in until they're fully visible right there. Nice little effect to have on your site, and that's going to get people's attention when things sort of fade in like that, which is just what you want. So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to create a scroll effect using the fantastic Divi theme. As I say, we've used no coding for this today. And you can apply scroll effects to rows and sections as well as modules and get some great things going. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.